Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Jimmy Mack from Time for Episode 4 of Season 2 of Better Call Saul. Let's get to it. A lot of fun, buddy. Like even, I know he's an old man, but fucking still. Jesus. That's a great intro. That's a great intro. Nice place. They told me they'd take care of everything, but then one day they said all my money was gone. My guess is the partners are going to love it. What's his name? The boss, go? not so much. The law offices of Davis and May at 505-242-7700. That's 505-242-7700. Jesus. However, I believe in second chances. But know this is both strike one and strike two. Going forward, you can expect a great deal more scrutiny. I was wrong. If I had said last week, I'd have been one to zero tolerance. That'll be all. You can go. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. See him packing up? Drive over, pull up in the spot next to Duco's. Pop, headshot, roll out. Easy. I-40 on Assumes there's a parking spot. Our guys park next to him. They come and go from the same spot. Last one takes off, you're open. Someone comes in behind me, I'm blocked. Who's going to pull in behind you? Well, I'm guessing someone who likes tacos. <laughs> What's that? What's my answer? No way, not me. Tuco doesn't even raise his voice, but suddenly he's got a sawed off and right in dog's face. Jesus. I was behind him. Piece of dog's skull under the skin, a little piece of it. So, it's like he said, if Tuco finds out about my, you know, independent ventures, it's going to be dog all over again. It's him or me. I agree. I guess it's you. Tuco's alive. Well, not anymore, you know what I mean. 50 grand. 50 grand. I'll look into it. This is all hitting the fan at once. This is a lot. I kind of like Nacho. I don't love Nacho. I kind of like Nacho. I don't want him to get murdered because that's the only other option. You're not getting to go. He's got to make it to Breaking Bad. Are you looking for Miss Wexler? I guess I'm too late, huh? No, she's still here. Where? <laughs> what is this, like a punishment that they just have? Like a dungeon? This is ridiculous. Every time something goes wrong, they throw you down here. If you go to Howard, you and I, we're done. So we're not done now? I need this job. You gotta be honest. I had Jimmy's same reaction. We're not done now? I'll take that as a win. I'm getting the hell out of here. Extra protection here. Because he heard the stuff in Jimmy thing again? That seems to be the thing, but after Jimmy goes off the rails, he gets worse. Alright. Okay, alright. Set his fucking Here. head. That's the Armalite AR-50. State of the art. Accurate to 2,400 meters. I got the loophole Mark IV on it now, but I can always upgrade it to Is a Ellsworth? Defender. More plank hell. You got it wet, you put it in the sun, gone. Somebody probably should have figured that out before they sent it into a damn jungle. Yeah, probably. Gotcha. It was a nom. I don't need anything at this time. For your trouble? No, it's no trouble. I make my living on repeat business. When you need what I'm offering, you know how to find me. Ellsworth is awesome. In everything I've seen him so far. Like, super subtle. I'm sure I learned his name. What the fuck happened to him? Mike, that is. His face. As far as she was concerned, Cliff Maine was already looped in. You told her he was? I implied it. 
So it's on me. You want me to quit Davis and Maine? That's fine. I, I never wanted that job in the first place. Kick it through to you. Life is not one big game of let's make a deal. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not because if I were impeding the career of one of my employees for the purpose of compelling you to do something against your will, that would be extortion. Are you gonna extort me, Chuck? It's a lead pipe cinch. You get away with it. I'm not gonna tell anyone. It's real easy. You Holy set things right for Kim. Shit. You get her back. Wow. Look at Jimmy. He's so awful. <laughs> wow. But I need to hear the words. Come uh, speaking of which. It's an hour's drive to Santa Fe. Even if you leave right now, you're still gonna be at least 20 minutes late for work. Another feather in your cap with Clifford, Maine. <sighs> Chuck is awful. But Jimmy's awful in his own way. But they love each other. Jimmy loves Kim, that's so sweet. And I'm actually gonna have a real problem with this, by the way. Tell me how that helps me. You won't have to talk to the cops. You won't have to do any time. There's no killing, but your Tuco problem. It goes away. I'm so glad this stuff is in here. But I just love Jimmy and Kim and company. I'm here for the crime stuff. That's why I'm here. So I love Breaking Bad. Family stuff's cool, but the crime stuff is where it's at. Next week, too. Cool. Shut up and go. Run. Actually. Yeah, see you, amigo. If I can find somebody else to do that. I apologize. So. 633. Mm. Cash. Ugh. Listen, so I'm willing to accept responsibility, but if you're not going through insurance, then I have maybe 20, 30 bucks on me. That's all. Okay, now you're lying to me. <laughs> You're not? I offered to do this the right way. If you can't accept that, then I can't help you. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> guys, this is like three times now. Really? You got some crazy lip on you, old man. Your life worth 400 bucks. Hey, Duco, time to bounce. Yeah, go, go. Oh, we only get all that money, so does it go splendidly? Swimmingly? Let go! Let go! Let go! Jesus. Mike is the man. On the ground! That's all you got. I love Mike so much. Just saying you went a long way to not pull that trigger. Why? That was episode four of season two of Better Call Saul. Where to begin? Hmm. Well, first things first, gotta start with Mike. He's clearly been through some shit. Um, one would have to imagine he was in Vietnam. Um, killed some people there. Though his rifle may or may not have jammed at some point because of the fucked up woodwork and the heat in the swamp. Um, then he became a cop. Dirty cop. Fucking killed the guys who killed his parents, he killed his parents, killed his kid. Um, and now he seems very hesitant to murder people. I'm here for even guys like Tuco. God knows he could have saved the world a lot of trouble. <sighs> the plan worked even 
I'm not sure even better is the right word, but it worked splendidly. Mike is the man. Mike is my favorite character on the show. And in my top 50, I'm pretty sure I had him. I gotta be honest, I'm ready to see Gus. I wanna see Gus for him. I wanna see Gus. He's gotta be on the show. He's got to be. Um, I like Nacho, shockingly. When he was like versus Mike. When Mike had to kind of um, threaten him with telling to go. Uh, hunting the stick. Um, I'm not gonna say I disliked him, but I felt a little short sighted. But he just might not have to take Mike seriously, which is fair enough. Mike doesn't look like much, um, if you don't know him. Um, but this episode... That dude goes dangerous, he fucking gets high. And he's even more dangerous. As we've seen before, um, it's time to go. Yeah, you know what? Dude's skull in my chest. That's where I put a boat in somebody. So now Nacho's in charge, right? Hmm. That was Plate Guy, right? He looks strangely familiar. This guy, you Plate Guy. Walter's first murder. I love Jimmy. I saw this before. I do love Jimmy. And <laughs> I don't like Chuck. Could Chuck be more right about Jimmy? Like, I don't know if he could be more right. My problem was never what Chuck said, it was that he said it, how he said it, and whom he said it to. These are all fair thoughts to have, but it's your brother who looks at you like a hero. Keep your love of the law to yourself, God damn it. I hope Chuck doesn't do anything, because uh, I would imagine that would, I'm not going to say break Jimmy's promise to Kim. Which is not to talk to Howard, but if you talk to Chuck, who then talks to Howard, uh, 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 the way Chuck said the thing about fucking um, you're gonna be late by twenty minutes. It was so evil. But then uh, Jimmy was trying to fucking blackmail him into extorting. It's a lot of crimes all at once. I don't know. I don't know. I just want everybody to be happy. Only person I, I fucking am on the side of is Howard, who has been getting fucking shot on this whole fucking show through season one, halfway through season four, treated like he's a bad guy, but it turns out he's not. He fucking vouched for fucking Jimmy, and then Jimmy fucked everybody with a rusty dick. That is not cool. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.